Colborne, Director of Tennis for the Omni Amelia Island Plantation. Today we're going to talk about the sliced backhand with the Haitian sensation Jean-Max Mangones. A couple of really important things on the sliced backhand. First one is that we have a continental grip. So Max is going to set up with his continental grip. He's going to have his index finger knuckle is on the first bevel. The second part of it, as he's going to step away, he's going to have to turn his shoulder. Okay, so right here, his shoulder turns. This is where the power is going to come from as he opens up, is across here. And if he's got a good shoulder turn, that's a really strong starting position. The last part of the shot is he really wants to make sure that he really steps into the shot when he hits it. Okay, so we're going to have Max hit a couple right now. He's got the right grip, he's turning his shoulder, and he's stepping in as he's hitting that shot. One more really important feature on the slice backhand is that you want to try and take the racket back and follow through with the racket at the same height as the ball. For instance, if the ball is bouncing up really high, you don't want to chop straight down on the ball. Okay, if it's a high ball, you want to start high, try and finish high. If it's a lower one, you got to get down low with the ball and try and finish at a similar height. So we're going to have Max hit a couple. A little more difficult right now and see if he can maintain that form. Try and think about those simple, easy tips. Have the right grip, turn the shoulder, step in, and keep the racket at the height of the ball throughout the stroke. Then you're going to have a really dangerous slice backhand, just like the Haitian sensation.